Hey, Mer fam, and welcome to season four, episode three of Mer Star Podcasts. In this episode, I've got Emma. Emma, how are you? Hi, I'm Slane. That's good. And in this episode, we're going to talk about scenarios and peer pressure. So, like, some there'll be questions on scenarios itself, and there'll be some scenarios on peer pressure. How do you feel about that? Scared. Nice. Don't worry. After that, you'll be unscared. So, cool. next, no, this question, the first question is, what's your opinion on scenarios? Um, what do you mean? Like, what kind of scenario? Like, some people use scenarios to help them sleep. Do you do that? Sometimes, yeah. They, they're amazing. I know, right? I do that because it takes me, like, hours to actually fall asleep like I'll go on my bed uh, I just won't be able to sleep and then I'll, I'll make the craziest scenario in my head to help me sleep yeah we, we don't need to know about them no they're good scenarios like Are street related mm. other scenarios stuff Mine like are so random. <laughs> um so I'm gonna give you one scenario mm-hmm. so You've been given a piece of homework that you don't understand how to complete. What would you do? Is there no options? No. This is what okay. you would do. I I would ask friends. Like, yes, friends. I'd message everyone in my class. Okay, I, I did that as well. And be like, um, what are you doing? Let me copy. Yeah, it's in primary school. <laughs> I, sometimes I'd ask my friends to take a picture of their work and send it to me. And I'd basically paraphrase it. <laughs> so um, the teacher doesn't suspect anything. <laughs> I'm so smart. But okay. um, what do you think would happen if you didn't ask for help? I'd do so bad, but I just guess. I guess like it don't really matter. I'd probably just I, I'd escape the lesson. I, I, I won't go. But I've never oh, I've gosh. never skipped the lesson. I'm a good child. But <laughs> and me me coming twenty eight thousand minutes late to a lesson that does not count. Skipping a well, even to miss our shit. Well, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Mm. Uh, <laughs> who, who knows? That's still yet to find out. Um, okay, so. next scenario is you've lost your locker key and you need it to get your PE kit out of your locker, and PE is your next lesson. What would you do? Is it like like break time or something? Um. Yeah, but say break time. Mm, uh, yeah, break time. Okay, so I'd probably just go to student service and just ask someone because they probably have like a, a key for every locker, right? Yeah, that happened to me. Really? Yeah. What so, well, yeah. So I had PE next, and it was break time, and I used to leave my PE kit in my locker. So, well, I don't do that anymore, of course, but. And then, um, I, I'm trying to think of what happened. So, <laughs> I'm trying to think. So, I went down to student services and they had a key for every single locker and they gave me that key. I could open any locker that I wanted. What? To. They gave me the key to open every single locker. I, I'm a good child, so I only opened mine and no one else's. But I got my PE kit and I escaped. But the thing is, there's a plot twist. About two days later, or a week I found where my key was it was just in my pocket oh yeah and I put it in the wash and everything no way it, it had a whole ride I'm a, I think my mom found it in the washing machine <laughs> <laughs> so it was a tragic experience yeah. um so where instead of putting it in your locker where else do you think would be a safe place to put it at home I can't, no, but if you have PE, I just carry it around in my bag. Same. But some people, they, they carry their bag and their PE kit at the same time. I can't do that. Oh, I do that. My I can't. It doesn't fit in my bag. Mine does. I, I have to make room anyway. Even if that's me leaving a reading book at home, my books at home, my calculator no at home. your bag so big. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's so big on Thursdays and Fridays. I, my PE kit must be in there. I'm not carrying two bags around. One with barely any books and one with a whole 
clothing thing in it. Um, okay, next night. In math, you realize you have packed the wrong school book and have your science book instead. So, you have a My science, science book. book. How how would you feel? I'd actually cry. Good. Actually, I don't uh, know. <laughs> I think my teacher would understand if it's just one day. Mm-hmm. What if what if we got behavior point? Oh, stop. No, nah, because sometimes we don't really use books. We just do like sheets or whatever. What if you did get a book? What if you had to use your book? Well then, I just live with it, right? I don't know. You you live with that behavior point, and with that that point will be crawling inside of you for days. No, nah, that's going be my only behavior point. You you. You'll be captured, uh, and you'll be attacked. No, what would you do? What would I do? I totally do nothing. <laughs> it's not exactly much like I can do. Yeah, but you don't want to get behaved by Emma. Why? I don't know. It'd be a good person, person Emma. Uh-huh. I-, I wouldn't know what I'd do, to be honest. Um, I just okay. Be... What'd you say? I'd just be kind of like, I don't know, moody. I'd be a bit like... <laughs> about me? Not good enough. What? About me? Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. Okay. I'll just be all broken inside. Uh, <laughs> next question is, um, okay, so who, who would you ask for help then? For my book? Yeah, or like, ask, can I borrow your spare book or something? Why do I use someone's book? I don't know. Um, I just use my partner, so we have to, I don't know. Alright, I'll probably do similar thing. Um, okay. Next is, say it's food tech, and you've forgotten, say you have to bring in ingredients for the lesson, and mm-hmm. you forgot them, what would you do? I would, I mean, if we're in partners, then I just use my partners, right? Okay, what if your partner also forgot? And you're both going down. <laughs> We're so done. <laughs> you can I'll both go down together. <laughs> you... Okay, but what about the food you need to make? Do I need to make food? Yes. Hmm. I don't know. It'd just be not there. Damn. Okay. Um. I'll just say yeah, yeah. You... Uh, but you need to show them. No. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, next one okay but but you have forgotten to bring in your history homework although you completed it and spent a the long end. time of it what yes. would I you spent a lot of time completing it at home but you forgot to bring it in what would you do hmm. I don't know I just if he, if the person trusts me if the teacher trusts me then I'll, be, I'll just bring it in the next day what if the teacher doesn't trust you? Oh, oh that's not very good. It, like, if it's like Mr. Edge, edge then he'll be like, just send a photo, right? Like, what you normally do. True, he probably do that. Okay, yeah. let's go to the next one. Okay. Um. So what do you think is peer pressure to you? What do you consider as peer pressure? When someone is just like, when people just force you to do something that you don't want to do. And I think it's a bad thing. Yeah, peer pressure is not bad, bad. Yeah. Um, no, so what would you do if you're being peer? I mean, it depends on what I'd be peer pressure to do. But I just I just try to refuse, I guess. Okay, so if what if um, someone is peer pressuring you to vape and someone had all these bad... Oh, I just vape. I'd run. What if you had all the... If they had all these bad pictures of you, videos, uh, of things you said no. and what you look like, and you're threatening you, what would you do? Hmm. I mean, they'd have to be like someone I trust for them to have their photos. So I'd be mad, but then I think I just I'd try it, but not inhale it. You know what I mean? Mm, okay. Like. Um. Yeah. Banner. What would you do? What? <laughs> I'm struggling. I don't know. Um, what would you do in this scenario? So, what if someone said to you, like, "Come, it's only a bit. You'll be okay. Nobody will find out." What? Well, what would you do? 
No, I, I, I still try to refuse. Like, there's no point in just doing it. Okay. Like, what am I gonna get from it? What are they gonna get from it? Exactly. Um. Okay, so have you ever been peer pressured before, and how did you react? Actually, no. I don't think so. Have you? Um. Uh, have I? Um. No, I don't think so. Actually, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think I've been peer pressured. We we were both survivors. How do you feel? That's amazing. I know. Right? Uh, <laughs> um next question is what age group do you think experiences peer pressure the most teenagers i think because yeah. like there's always there's always gonna be like naughty people yeah i agree it usually it can happen to everyone but usually it's teenagers the most mm-hmm. um yes so how do you think peer pressure could be stopped I don't know, like, I think it's just like a normal thing, like, it's just, I don't know, how can, how can it be stopped? Yeah, I don't really think peer pressure is something that's it's not under like anyone's thing. control. Yeah. I just feel well, like... It's just like bullying, there's, there's always going to be bullying. Yeah, I feel like it's just how like you react to it. Yeah. Because you can't really do much about it, it's just how you react to what's happening. Yeah. Okay, um... What do you think could be the impact of negative peer pressure? I don't know, like, it just ruins people's lives and the mental health and stuff, like... Yeah. I don't know, it just, it makes them feel bad about themselves. Yeah, it could, it could really hurt someone. But do you believe there is something called positive peer pressure? Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, like, people could just be, like, trying getting you to do stuff like that's how you come with them but like so good yeah like, so like I don't know like give you confidence and stuff you know yeah like they could be um instead of convince they could be basically convincing you to do the opposite thing so negative peer pressure that could be like oh try out this vape it's really yeah. good but positive could be like oh don't try out that vape don't try it don't try it true true so it, it could be kind of reversed and then it'd be the opposite yeah okay so I'm gonna give you Okay, wait, uh, this last question. Do you think schools talk about how to combat peer pressure enough? How to what? How to fight off peer pressure. Oh, um, nah, they don't care, do they? <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they always talk about like, bullying and stuff, but it's not really peer pressure. Yeah. So that's, in, in our school, they don't. I don't think they've ever done a lesson on bullying. True. No, like, like not even into bullying week. No way. Nope. In primary school, every day is anti-bullying, anti-bullying, anti-bullying. <laughs> uh, we were strongly against anti-bullying. We and love then I hear something same like things every year. Like, it's very mean to call people rude, 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 rude things. Not good. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you some peer pressure related scenarios. So, let's say that you're playing with a group of your mates at the local park. Your parents know you're there and expect you to be home at 7 p.m. It's nearly 7 p.m. and some older friends come along. They're the friends of one of your mates and they're in the sixth, they're in a higher year than you. And they ask you to go to their house and play on their latest console, like PS4 or something. Mm-hmm. You know your parents will be expecting you home. What would you do? Hmm, I don't know. Like, the old people like, want me to play at their house. Yeah. Is it with my younger people as well? Because um, like, if my parents are expecting me, then I'd probably just go home because my parents are kind of strict. So, yeah, like, if I have to go home, I will go home. No yeah, matter like, who I'd rather are. be home anyway. I'm not going to some random guy's house. Exactly. Even if, I was, even if I didn't have to go, I'm still not going to your house. I don't know you. Exactly. <laughs> it's just a bit odd. Like... If someone came, oh, do you want to play on my PS4? Oh, do you want to play on this? Oh, come play on this. It'd be a bit weird. Who's so awkward, Mike? Who do I talk to? Exactly. Um, this is the next scenario. You walk into the toilets at break and see one of your friends beating someone up. They see you and tell you that you have to punch the person to you. But you don't <laughs> want to. But they have said 
if you don't they'll tell the teachers it was you who did it what would you do <laughs> is my who's who's a person punching my mate your friends punching who like like some random dude up just beating someone up well i actually don't know do you know i, I wouldn't do it do you what know would you why? Do? because if you think about it they'll say they'll tell the teacher that i did it but if i actually punch him i will still do it so it, it doesn't make sense oh, yeah. i don't get my weight either way true i don't i don't know like i my, probably wouldn't do it my friends have to be bad people to do that anyway true i don't think i just they are my I friends just leave. i don't know like i'd be like nah bye <laughs> i'd be like sorry sorry that's not me you can do whatever you want in it yeah. i'm not involved i didn't see this you can call me cctv camera if you want but i'm not exactly here. like if i just walk away like nothing's like the teacher's not gonna care exactly um actually i'd probably run away and tell the teacher on your friends actually never mind thinking of it actually it depends because i'll get in trouble either way true no and i'm like yeah i don't know it's either isolation or losing friends but your friends are bad people anyways yeah so it's like losing toxic friends versus going in isolation. exactly that's so that's so good Hmm, it's a win-win feat. Well, no, it's not a win. It's a win-lose. It just depends on what you choose. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. A lot could go down with that. Okay. I'm going to give you another peer pressure question. So, let, I'm going to give you some names. So, Joe, there's his friend Kyle, to steal a pencil from the teacher's desk. Why might Kyle feel like he has to do it? Do, do you think Kyle has a choice? Naughty guy stealing a pencil from a teacher? <gasps> Naughty Kyle. Wait, he wants to or not? Uh, so, basically, Joe is daring Kyle. So, say, say you were Kyle. What would you do? <laughs> Kyle, okay. <laughs> I don't know. If it's if it like a simple thing, and if, I, if, I'm, if Kyle's like a naughty kid anyway, like it's normal, like a joke or whatever, then I'd probably do it. But if, yeah. it, if the teacher's there, then I'm probably going to do it. Just, I'm thinking of it. It's only a pencil. True, but, but, uh, yeah, it's only a pencil. In my primary school, someone stole my teach a teacher's phone. No way. And it's like the assistant head teacher as well. One of the <laughs> top top teachers. And the person actually goes to our current school. We also went to our friend. But I'm not I'm not saying who. But hmm. may, maybe maybe um after, but oof. Mm-hmm. It'd be the person you least expect. Um, so no. Okay. Um, next scenario. So let's say Molly is in year six and Jasmine is in year three. Molly tells Jasmine to smash a glass bottle in the playground. What might Jasmine be thinking? Why do you think Molly wants Jasmine to smash the bottle and how could you help? So say you're Jasmine and Molly is trying to convince you to smash a bottle in the middle of the playground. That's so random. I, I don't think I would do it because I'm, I'm in year three, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'd just be so confused. But if I'm in year three, I'd probably do it anyway. <laughs> just because like, I'm so young, I don't understand anything. I'm not in a stupid era. <laughs> I'm not before you smart. Oh, man. I'll... You're a villain origin story. <laughs> Damn. Okay, what Emma. Jasmine, I mean, not me. Oh, Jasmine's our okay. evil origin story. Sorry. Um. Okay. So let's talk about Max, Billy, and Charlie a little bit. So, Max and Billy are friends. Max tells Billy to rip up Charlie's artwork. Max is really upset because he thinks Charlie's picture is better than his. Max says he won't be happy until Billy does it. Billy rips the corner from Charlie's picture. Charlie's very upset and Billy gets into trouble. Max is happy. What could have happened differently? And is Max a good friend? Say you're the person. uh, Say you're Billy. (laughs) That was a lot. So what happened again? I'll I'll summarize it. So Max wants Billy to rip up Charlie's artwork. Because Max thinks it's better. Would you rip it? Hmm, No. What if it was a person you didn't like? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Like it depends. Like 
I don't know, like, if I know them well and I like them, then I won't do it. But if I'm closer to, to Max, then I might not. But I'd get in trouble for that reason. Yeah. Plus, do, do you think Max is a good friend for daring Billy to do that? No. Or do you think Max is not Max your Max like? Just do it himself. Exactly. Ma- Max, Max is a scaredy cat. Of course. This is why we don't like Max. We okay. don't. Let's let's get some next more ones. So let, let me give you this one. Okay. <laughs> um Camellia. No, Camella. <laughs> Are you sure you wrote these? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, these ones oh. I didn't write. The questions uh-huh. I wrote, but the scenarios yeah. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Camella walks into the girls' toilets and finds Sophie being punched by two other girls. The other girls are Jessica and Katie. They're in the year above Camilla, but Sophie's in her class. Camilla doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know whether to pretend she hasn't seen them or run away. Or try to help Sophie. Before she can decide though, Jessica and Katie see her and grab hold of her. They say she has to punch Sophie as well, or they will punch her. Damn. What what would she do? <laughs> um, I actually don't know. I'd be like would you punch or be punched? <laughs> <laughs> be punched or be the punched? I actually don't know. What would you do? To be honest, me. You'd punch her. I know you would. <laughs> well, it depends who the person is. Like, if it was a person I didn't like, then. If Camilla's a good person, then she wouldn't do it, right? True. Because Camilla can be Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I was, if I was supposed to punch a person I didn't like, so then I, I might not, because of course it's either I. Because who's in your class? Like you know how our class is like. True. Our friends. And if you think about it, if you punch someone and then see them in class, the next lesson it's so True, awkward. That'd be so weird. It'd be so awkward. I can never do that. I don't like having problems. I'm so happy I've never had a problem with someone who's in my class. Yeah. Like, I'm actually, never mind, I have, but, hey. um, Bonnet. But. Oh, who's that? Hey. You, anyway. Do you remember? Oh. But it was ages ago, anyways. It was in French. It was ages ago. But, um, oh. you remember, right? Yeah. But that that's all, of course, sorted. But I don't like having a problem with someone who's in my class. Because, of course, it'd be awkward seeing them the next lesson. I could never do that. Yeah. Um. Next set now is 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 is, is. okay. So, say you are walking home from school mm-hmm. with your friend. You've been told to go straight home. However, you meet a friend called Noah, who's on the way. <laughs> He asks you to go to the skate park. What would you do? Would you go to the skate park with Noah? Or would you, no. would you go home? No, I don't skate. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, what if it was um, to um, um, the park? Not a skate park, just the park. No, nah, but if my parents wanted to go straight home, then I probably would anyway. And if it's after school, then I'd be so tired. True. I, I don't have that type of energy. I don't okay. know. Look, this needs to be a conversation because how straight after school are people doing who are going to around one mile away from their school exactly. just to do a water fight on the hottest day where in the as well like no. I, I could never do that i'm sorry i, I went that. straight home and hopped in, in the shower <laughs> yeah i dashed went home in the hottest day recorded in the uk you're going one mile away from your school just to do a water fight. That is shameful. That is shameful. It was so good. Like, everyone's just musty, like. <laughs> everyone's just musty, too. Musty, crusty. Uh, okay. Next scenario is your friends want you to go to a party, but there are no parents super- supervising, and you already told your mom that there would be a parent supervising. What would you do? I'd probably just go, because, like, if if I trust those friends, then I'll be fine. 
me personally, I'd probably, because I probably would tell my mom that the parents are rising that I didn't know that they were actually. Yeah. But I'd probably, I'd probably be there for a few minutes and then tell my mom just like to see what's actually going on. Yeah, same. But like, and, if they change their plans, like if there was a posse parents, then I'd obviously think that. So. Yeah. And okay. then when I get there, there'll be no parents. Like, that's just different. Yeah. yeah, that's a bit odd. A bit odd. Um, the next one is, you were at the mall with your friends, and they want you to steal from one of the stores. And there's a CCTV camera pointing right above, what would you do? I would not do it. Same. I don't know. It depends what you're stealing. Like, if it's like a big thing, then obviously not. Yeah. What What would you? What if it's like a little sweet wrapper? I don't know. Like, if they're just getting me to do it just cause, and that means they're scared, right? So you just do it then. Exactly. Plus, I I don't I want I don't like eh. people people steal, but what what is the point? If you're broke, just say so. <laughs> Stop. That's so true. <laughs> no offense. Like, if you're generally homeless, I can't blame you. But if if you have a nice house. You paid over two hundred thousand pounds for it. You go to school. You're not on free school meals. You're just living your life, and you're stealing. That is just shameful for you. That's a, that's so true. Like you're just you're just being you're just being goofy. If if you don't expect your seventy five pounds monthly allowance and you don't get it because you're a bad boy, you get a DT every day. That's <laughs> not that's no one's fault. That's not Primark's fault. That's not your local <laughs> shop's fault. It's no one's fault. So stop stealing from Primark. Stop stealing from your corner shop. Stop stealing from TK Max. Yes. Stop stealing from Ando. Ando. <laughs> the best mall. Mall. Kind of tiny, you know. Trafford's better. Yeah. Um, and it's bigger, like four times bigger. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe three times. I don't know, but anyways. Um, next question. Well, next scenario is. You are, you're at a corner shop, purchasing yeah. a soda, and the person soda. you are with wants you to help them steal alcohol. Nah. What would you do? Alcohol. I would not steal alcohol, of course not. Dude, I, I don't drink alcohol. Because I'm not going to drink it all either, so like, there's no point. You know, what, what's the plan? <laughs> I was like, getting yourself you to drink the no reason. Exactly. Like, I'd rather drink the purchased soda I bought. I, I just want to enjoy my Seven Up, my Sprite, my Fanta, my Coke, and my yeah. Lucid. Because I paid for it. I did nothing wrong. But I'm not helping you steal alcohol you won't drink. How would you steal alcohol anyway? I don't even know. The goofiest thing. <laughs> exactly. Um. Next scenario is you are at a friend's house. Damn. And their older <laughs> sibling has weed. <laughs> and they want you to smoke. No. no. What would you do? And what if they were blackmailing you as well at this point? Mm-hmm. And this blackmail could ruin person. your entire life. What? And this blackmailing could ruin your entire life. No job, no friends. He's definitely me, the, the older sibling. Um, yeah. How do I know the older sibling? Because they're your friend's sibling. But how do I know my friend's sibling? That's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, of course. I don't know. I would, I would, I would, nah. What would you do? I, I'd probably... They, they say they have... So, if they had stuff to blackmail with me with, it'd probably be on that phone, right? <laughs> yeah. So I take both their phones and run away. Nothing you to fall off, but okay. No. So basically, I I ask them, "Hey, do you want to take a picture?" They open their 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 phone. I, I take their phone <laughs> and run away. <laughs> While offering you weed. They they, <laughs> they, they like, call me Usain Bolt, Mister Fastman. I'll what? run. I'll dash. You won't see me. And then you won't see me in school either. Don't worry, because I'll be too busy deleting everything. But to be honest, I would never really say or do anything that could ruin my life. I, I'm, I'm very cautious. 
like I, I know what to say and what to not. N- not everything should be said. But everything, not everything should be said. Um so oh, let me let me not read that one. Um Okay, so say you just got your driving lessons and your friends wants to wants to ride home. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that it's illegal for you to have another teen in the car for the first year of you having your driving lessons. Because yeah. you're still new and if you have an accident, that's basically involving the teen. So what would you do if that friend wants to ride home? I mean, if it's illegal, then I don't think I should do it, right? Yeah. What would you do? Um, I'd probably suggest them to take a taxi. And if they don't have money, I'd probably give them taxi money. Because it's better than yeah. me getting put in jail or something. Yeah, I'll add find someone else for them, so... Yeah, I'd probably give yeah. them some taxi money. And if they, they use the money I give them from McDonald's, find your own way home. Walk yeah, home exactly. if you need to. Because I, I, same. I, I've gave you the money I needed to. I've give you a charity support, Cafford, Caritas. I've done it all for you. So if if you don't use the money wisely for the taxi I gave it for, that's your own issue. Exactly. <laughs> I've done my part. Um. So say your friend sits next to you in maths, and during a test, they whisper to show you your paper. What would you do? To to what? To show you your paper, like your answers and stuff. To show to show them my paper. Yeah. Um. I would show. If they show me theirs. I would show. I like. Basically, in nearly every single lesson I've attested, I always either cheat or me and my friends are copy. Like you know who I sit next to an Ari, right? Yeah. He's always like, "Can I see this? Can I see your answer? Can I did it? Can I did it?" What did you write? Even of in the course. phone book assessment. <laughs> Still yeah. looking. I, actually, no, me and my partner were just doing the same answers with everything. He was just telling me to scroll up, go back. Uh, you're going too fast. This stuff. I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, can I go on my own pace? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me just do do my work, do my thing, because I don't think Ari's a necessarily hard subject. It's no, just whether them, if you listen or not. I tell them to help me back. Because yeah. I'm just gonna sit there and then give them my answers and we're both just stuck. <laughs> that that like, is sad. What'd you do on the next one? Okay. Um the next scenario is you and you and a friend have just watched a movie. You're leaving the cinema and notice a group of popular kids from your school who are all smoking. You stop to talk and your friend up offers you a cigarette. The friend that I was watching the movie with? Yeah. Why are they joining in in the first place? I don't know. I, would, I wouldn't. Same, I wouldn't as well, because it's, it's not like they're forcing me. I guess they offered it. I could just easily say no. Yeah, I've seen this. they don't understand, right? Yeah, I, I've seen something like this in Darman before. But instead of <laughs> drinking, <laughs> Darman bangs. Darman's too good. Darman's <laughs> overpowered. If you don't yeah. like Darman, Darman does not like you either. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, popular kids from school who are all smoking. I feel like people see popular kids as cool kids. But if you're cool and you're, if you smoke and think you are, that makes you cool, you're, it's just a bit... Eh. No. You make, Smoking you make sure doesn't make you cool. cool. You're going to die before I do so. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm <laughs> But yeah. smoke people who smoke to be cool is no, it's not nice. Exactly. Stop thy bad habits today. Um, are you ready for the next scenario? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. At lunch, a new student sits down at an empty seat next to you and your friends. You can tell she's younger than you and just seems a little different. As soon as she sits down, your eh? As soon as <laughs> what? As soon as she sits down, your friends ask her what she thinks she's doing. They start making fun of the way she's dressed and knock her backpack on the floor. They tell her to go find a group of losers to sit with because she'll find because she'll fit in better with them. Damn, personally, I would not have it. <laughs> not, so, something I've seen in Darman again before. Did, did they take this from Darman? Exactly, stealing. <laughs> so, what what would you do if they were making fun of the new? New different I, younger I would, kid. I would 
would help them. I'd defend them. Because, like, yeah. well, it depends if they're nice. Like, if they're kind of rude or whatever, then obviously not. Like, I'll, I'll just sit back and relax and watch. Like, yeah, I just watch. But, like, if they're lucky doing nothing wrong, then I'd help. Yeah, if they're doing nothing wrong, because I, I feel bad for people who just get picked on for exactly. no reason. Like, they're living their best life. And people That's are trying to make them live their worst life. Exactly. They're, they're in their moment, their era, their mood. Exactly. And you're just making it worse for them. Who does that? Because you must be so sad so with yourself hard. to do that. Exactly. Like, me, I could never, personally. I'm too nice for that. Sure. It shows. Um, okay, so. Say your sister ask you... I, I can't read. I'm struggling. Okay, <laughs> so. Your sister asks you to sneak jewelry from your mom's closet so she can wear it to school tomorrow what would oh, you for do her. yep for her not even for you for her <laughs> if my mom has a lot of jewelry then she and she wouldn't if she doesn't notice then i probably would okay take them for myself as well just kidding i don't know <laughs> probably not you know to be honest, probably I wouldn't either because it's not like I'm not the one who's wearing it. It's for you. Exactly. Not for me, for you. So if you're making me do yes. these baddie type things, that's not even for me. If I get, if if I get in trouble, it's, it's their fault. They have to explain. Exactly. Because I'm not, I'm not wearing evil, so how's the mom going to know it was me? Exactly. So currently, I'm not trying to get in trouble for your mess and exactly. your issues. So, you know. You, you should go and get it yourself, okay? Boom. Um, next scenario is, um, damn. So you want to go to a party, but you aren't sure your parents will let you go. A friend says you can stay at their house, so your parents won't know you, go to, you went to the party. They tell you to keep a secret or they'll never talk to you again. What would you do? What's the secret? That I went to the party? Yeah. How how does that affect my friend? I don't even know. I'm not the one getting in trouble, am I? I mean, yes. they're not going to get in trouble. Just, I, I, I would go. Because, you know, there, at least there's... Well, it depends the party. Like, if it's a bunch of kids drinking... Yeah, we get If it's no key, then I just go, like... Exactly. Because it's like I'm going with the... Because I'm going with the parent that is supervising me at that time exactly but mm, it depends it depends the reason that I'm not allowed to go like if it's because oh you've heard a lot of bad things that have happened there then yeah. I won't go because I'm not trying to put myself at risk for, yeah, for I'm a part like, I'm not going to have fun am I yeah but if it's just oh um, you've not finished your homework yeah I'll, I'll go <laughs> because my homework my homework's not running away it, it's still there yeah, Still I'll on just, his desk. I'll just do it last minute. Yeah. And me, I, sometimes I do my homework the day before it's the gym. <coughs> Music homework. But I'm, <laughs> I'm already, no, I do already homework weekends, the weekend before it's the gym. I do my art homework. Oh, same with my art homework. Uh, some homework is stressful. Exactly. <sighs> Next, I'll get Yates homework for science. But, you know. Oh. Um... <laughs> So, next scenario is actually about homework. You don't understand your homework, and you don't want to ask for help. A classmate tells you they'll all they'll help you in the library after school, but you aren't sure if you can stay after. The classmate tells you they'll be there. They'll what? They will be there one way or another. So they're forcing you to come to the library with them, so they can help you. Sounds a bit weird. What? Like who's that's, like? That's weird. Imagine Emma. Emma, no, you must come to the library with me. I'll help you do your homework. If you don't, I'll find out one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Would you sneak in the library after school and you're not allowed to to get your work done? No, I don't. Or would you just not, go you know. home? I'm probably not. I'll probably not do it because. I don't want to do it anyway. Like. Same. I, I don't even want to do the homework. Well, but I don't understand the homework. That's the thing. I just don't ask. Understand other people i don't need that person's help in it, i don't need you to help me or do it for me all yeah. i need is a quick explanation uh, <laughs> yeah exactly like one sentence and i'm done and i don't need a kfcs paragraph p-e-e-l uh, all i need is what you need to do or go and ask the teacher 
that's probably what I'll do. Exactly. Um, next scenario is you just found out that you were invited to a party that your best friend was also invited to. You asked you asked them to ask if you could go along as well, but they told you if you asked, they wouldn't be your friend anymore and tell people a secret they know about you. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, I'll, I'll uh, summarize it. So you got invited to a party. Your yeah. best friend also did. But you, you asked your best friend to go with them. Um, and your best friend said, if you ask again, then I'll tell everyone a secret I know about you. Ask to go. Like, ask to go with them. Like, oh, let's go together to this party. What? I just go along then. Well, I, I, I go with my other friend. Because there's a reason they're my best friend. Because I've got other friends as well. Just not like, they're just my big friend. But why would my best friend be like that anyways? <laughs> like, what what type of best friend is like, this? I, don't, I don't want to do it with you anyway. Exactly. Like, go, go along with your your little petty mates. I, I don't want to be around a person who who's who's just negative and bad, naughty person. <laughs> um. So next scenario is you are helping another student carry their books to class because they got hurt. A classmate asks you if you need help. But you tell them you don't, and they stick around anyway. What would you do? Just let them stick around, I guess. I don't know. Just true. It depends. Just do what you want, like. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be a bit confused if someone just followed me around. Well, I know a few people who just follow me, but yeah. um, it, if if you want to follow, follow and follow well, I'll probably be quite annoyed. Yeah, but I I'd be so confused, but I just let them like, just do your thing, I guess. I'll do mine. <laughs> do you bring out your mind? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I if I really need help, then I'll, I'll, I'll let them help. Yeah, if, if you want to help, help them help well. Because uh, who complains about receiving help? Uh, I don't know who complains about receiving help, so... You know. Okay, let's go to the next scenario. So, going to class, you notice some kids pushing around a few students. You walk by them, and they follow you until you... If you tell anyone, they will do way worse things to you. Damn. What would you do? <laughs> Just don't do anyone, I guess. Like, it depends on the person is. True. Like, if because... I know that person, then I try to help or whatever. Yeah. Imagine, imagine that we get beat up, right? Because... You know, I, I just saw some... Like, I see that every day. I see random kids being pushed around every day. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I never do anything. Like, they don't yeah, need I'm to tell me. I'm just going to walk away. Like, exactly. Like, they, they don't need to tell me I shouldn't tell anyone. I won't do that anyways. Like, what what business has that got to do with me? Unless you're fully, like, a full-on proper thing. Or, or you just got pushed. Or, or they're, they're just giving you a wedgie or something. That's got nothing to do with me. That's not my issue. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I guess. Okay. So, I've got some more scenarios for you. We'll be done in about 17 minutes. Okay. So, everyone at school is participating in a school dress-up day. And wearing red. Your friends convince you to wear black instead. What would you do? On my own. No, to wear... I think, actually... I don't know if you're wearing it with them or just on your own. Say, um, if with them, then with them. Would, yeah. It's just like a fun thing, right? Like, just be different. But be I don't different. know. Stop. Because if I'm doing it alone, that's going to be so awkward. True. I, I, I don't know. Alone. I personally, I'd probably just convince them to wear red instead. Because, or black and red. Actually, I'd probably wear the littlest amount of red. And I'll be like, oh, look, here's the red part. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably wear the little piece of red. Wear, like, bring your oh, red yeah, jacket. Yeah, but, um, I'd probably convince my friends to wear red, anyways. Yeah, like, maybe, like, just like, like red stuff, like, not our red. Yeah. Because I'm not sure. So, okay. You're at the mall and you see your friend. They just bought an expensive outfit, so you think you need to buy it too. What would you do? Would you buy the outfit? Would you not? Why do I think you need to buy it just because of an outfit? Personally, I, I wouldn't buy anything. Just because my friends got it. 
I don't. Life is ugly. <laughs> Damn. A lot of expensive things. They're just expensive, but they look nasty. Yeah, exactly. Like I'll stick to my. Like who told you that was cool? <laughs> I'll stick to my thirteen pounds Primark Wrong. combo, <laughs> or, or my um twenty pounds Tesco outfit. Yes. Thank you. I'll stick to that. <laughs> so you like. So you like the way a kid at school looks, and they're skinnier than you. So you go on a diet and refuse to eat. What would you do? Would you would you go on a diet for this random kid you like, or would you be yourself and still like the person? If I, if I if I just want to do it just to like body goals, I guess. Then. Yeah, but I still eat. Like I'm not gonna stop eating. Yeah, I can never stop eating as well. Eating's nice. I like eating. Exactly. I just eat anyway, but like maybe cut down if I'm if I'm kind of like if I kinda of need it then I might but I'm still eating, like no one's stopping me. Personally, I feel like if I like someone and they're making me stop eating, that's a bit weird. Oh so, yeah, yeah. If they're making me just stop eating, then of course not. Look, like, why why would I like crushes they don't really last. Especially because these scenarios that I'm saying are pointed out to more younger people. No one has a, really has a crush at this type of age that will last till they're 108 years old. Oh, yeah. So, what am I doing this for? Some, some person. Yeah, if I'm doing it for someone else, then I'll be me. Yeah. I, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I like eating. I'll eat as much as I want to. Not that I need to, but I want to. Yeah. And, yeah. Actually, I'll also do both. I'll still eat as I need to. I'm not trying to eat my entire house now. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just force myself to eat. Yeah. But I'm still gonna eat what I want. Sometimes I eat when I'm bored. Hey, like. Not because I'm hungry. I'm just bored. Yeah. I think that. Well, I was kind of hungry, but. I just so, get hungry when I'm bored. Yeah. Sometimes I eat when I'm bored as well. I just have nothing to do, so I'm like. I just, hmm. I just grab snacks. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be chomp chomp, chomping. Because as long as I'm watching TV, I like eating as well. It just feels yeah, nice. yeah, that's 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 a good point. A good point, yeah. As long sometimes, as I'm, I'm watching something, like, I'm obviously gonna be eating. Yeah, because sometimes if I make food and I'm watching TV at the same time, I'll make sure I find the right thing to watch before I start eating. Yeah, because sometimes to... like there's some gross things right, and yeah, it makes me stop eating. It puts me off. I was watching TikTok. I saw some weird thing on TikTok, and I I, I just felt sick. You mean Cheryl? <laughs> I, I just felt sick. Okay. Um. So your class decides to make a thank you card for your teacher, and you offer to help. Would you, do you want to actually help, or are you too lazy? Would you actually help? I think maybe you know, because if I'm not the teacher, then I'm useless. Same. If it's for Caitlin, but oh. If... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if we have a left then obviously well hopefully he's he's there till I'm in college or something when I leave he leaves as well yeah like when I leave he doesn't need to be there anymore he can go exactly <laughs> he's not I, having I anyone else favourite teacher Very. he's too good he's OP <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> um, but personally I'd probably just write my name on the thank you card Cause me, I don't do art like that. I've been traumatized with art for the past ten months of living. I've been traumatized with art. Art has just traumatized me from Rebecca. Oh, yeah. You're always late. That's why she hates you. Good. No, I've only ever been late to art about five, four times. That's so much. After like thirty weeks, if you think about it. Mm -hmm, mm Mhm. Mhm. So it's not that much. I think like you're the only one who's been late. What'd you say? You're the only one who's been who's been late that much. Good. Mm-hmm. But compared to a lesson like um, Eng- English or science, I'm late two more. What else? Um, some music. Music, you're always late, but that's such a long walk. True. The highest I've been is like 40 minutes late. I'm not even joking. What were you doing? Eating? 
So I had a student council meeting. And then after, I just uh, walked around. I didn't go straight to class. Marv did, but I didn't. Marv? Or, uh, he did. I, I I just walked around. And then I was like, hmm. Just, just so watch? I don't get bullied or bully slipped. Let me just go to class. Because <laughs> I don't know if you knew, but if you get seen on the car though without like a red pass, you get blue slipped. Yeah. I, I never knew that until like two months ago because I nearly got blue slipped. When? Like two months ago no, because yeah the end of school as well that's such a waste like it was like june because it's gonna be late so what english you know when oh, i walked what? in and everyone was like clapping or something so what? Hey, I'll, I'll, i might explain later but i nearly got blue slip but i survived you know i've had so many time, times i nearly got blue slip but i never did I'm a good child, guys. Mm. I'm a good man. I've yeah. only ever had nine detentions, I think. Nine. <laughs> but that's not from being late. It's not from behavior bad based. I'm a good How child. How many behavior points? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a good child. Some that's people have good. like 150. Exactly. Uh, I'm good. That I was five per day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that is like about five per day. I really? saw someone, they got like eight in a day. That's, that's, I... Well, that's basically that's more good. than I got. What? That's basically more than I got within eight months. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sad life. Are you ready for the next scenario? Yes. Okay. So, a friend is making fun of a substitute teacher, Miss Paris, <laughs> and by copying yeah. You what? don't think it's funny, but you still laugh. What would you do? Would you, would you still laugh? Would, would you like? What What would you do? Hmm. If it's like meant to be like a joke and they're actually a funny person, then probably laugh. Isn't the I, I laugh anyway. Like, <laughs> even if it's not funny. I I I feel pity for the person who makes bad jokes, and I laugh just to make them feel good. Oh, really? Same. I feel happy about themselves, but um. Sometimes people make jokes that are just generally not funny. Like yeah, they if could either if be like too mean or whatever, then I won't laugh. Yeah, I'd probably just be like, eh. I wouldn't say anything. I'd just be there. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just be there. I, I won't laugh. I won't smirk. I won't giggle. I'll, I'll, I'll just, just look at them. I'd just be like, mm, eh. come on, man, don't be a rude dude. Dude, be a real dog. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Be a real one. Be a G. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I probably won't laugh. Okay, you decide not to play. I'm gonna change it to dodgeball because you like dodgeball, right? Yeah. Wait, what's it normally? Football. Ah, uh, ew. <laughs> I, I like football. You decide not to play dodgeball. Even though you really want to, a friend is going to play it, so you decide to as well. Would, would you, would, would you still do it if your friend wasn't? Well, would you? Um, if I want to, then I probably would do it anyway. Yeah. But if I actually can't, then I probably will. Okay. But if my friend's doing it, then it'd be more fun, right? So. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little made-up scenario that I actually made. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> this is basically on the top of my head as I'm talking. So, uh, say that it was sports day. <laughs> yeah. And most of your friends... Wait, which one do you like more, football or basketball? Basketball. And most of your friends went to football. Like, basically all your friends went to football. What would you do? I go to basketball. I'm not going to play football just because my friends are. Actually no, but like if all my friends are doing it and we're all on the same team, whatever, like I could just do it as like a joke, right? Like just yeah. Well, you like... don't get to choose the teams though. That's the thing. They're randomized. No. Well, really? Yeah. No. Like on sports day when you're playing football, you couldn't choose. Oh, you could. Oh, I'm going to basketball. I'm sorry. Okay. No, fo- it's between football and dodgeball. Man. Football, it's dodgeball, and basketball. You'll still oh. play dodgeball over pass. No, because like the, the games on sports day, sports day that you played. I wanted dodgeball. 
Mm-hmm. Actually, no, it depends. Like, if all of my friends are going to one, probably. But if, like, some friends are still on other ones, then I'd probably go to them. All right. How about you? Um, I probably, I probably so say if they were to all go to like, um, say basketball, and I want to play football, I'd probably play football still because <laughs> basketball. I like basketball. I'm not bad at basketball. It's because you know everyone, so it'll be just like normal, right? It's, I I basically know everyone in that year group. I've spoke to basically everyone. So <laughs> you run out of people to speak to. <laughs> so I guess. In every single group, there'll be someone that I know. Yeah, yeah. I just choose the one that I know most people. And my friends are good at football, so it'll be better for me. What well, easier for me? Well, not all my friends. Are. But what if your friends are into basketball, and all the people in football are bad people? Well, it'll be easier for me. Oh. I could just sprint out my entire team. Oh yeah. Cause <laughs> athletics and all, I'll just sprint out against my entire team. <laughs> Um, wait, did you do the 100 meters in PE? Yeah, it was actually so bad. It's because it was like the hot, one of the hottest days as well. Oh, what did you get for your 100 meters? What? What did you, how many seconds did you do your 100 meters in? Mm-hmm. I don't want to say. What did you get? 13. Oh, I got, I got five. Five? <laughs> yeah. No, like how many seconds it took you to run up there? Five. I'm just kidding. So what? Okay, what did you get? Like forty. Forty-five. Forty. For oh forty. Okay. So. You, no, you but guess... I think that the average is like between like thirty-five and like forty. Yeah, I did thirteen seconds. <laughs> I'm faster than that. Okay, I'm, um, I did seventy-five meters in eight seconds. Mm-hmm. Eight. Okay. I, I well, feel proud. Well, Emma, don't worry. Teach me your way, your ways. Don't worry. Just follow Fahima.co.uk. Wow, what's she gonna do? <laughs> She's ran all the height away. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Next okay. scenario. So your friends tell you to send a text to someone and make fun of the clothes they wear would you send the text or would you not if if they know them yeah and they're actually wearing bad clothes and i'd give advice but i'm not gonna make fun of them just i, I wouldn't I, I personally just think, like maybe if i give them advice like what to do you know yeah like, what what is better to wear but if i don't if i don't know then i just won't do anything yeah because me i I'm a, I'm a, I'm kind of a respectful person if you see it. because mm. if someone I'm, I'm I'm decently respectful because say if someone smelled bad if someone was wearing <laughs> bad clothes if someone looked a bit weird today I would ne- I would never point it out no matter how yeah, bad they yeah. smell or no matter like, how they look I would never point it out because I know it's embarrassing it's really embarrassing yeah. so I'll still never point it out. Well, they're just making a fool of themselves, and I might just say something, but... Yeah, if they're making a fool of themselves and giving me second-hand embarrassment, making me feel embarrassed for them... Yeah, then... if they're my friend, like a close friend, and they're, they're looking... They're wearing some like, goofy, <laughs> then I'd say something. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to say something if they're my close friend. But if there's someone, like, just as a... Even like, just a friend, I wouldn't say anything. Yeah, like, just you do you. Yeah, you do you. Enjoy your day. <laughs> if... <laughs> However you feel, if you feel in a Thai mood or Jenny mood, nah, or mood nah. then <laughs> I guess that's good. Or Fahima mood. Yeah, Fahima Lord. mood. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> Sometimes Shawnee. Shawnee's gone, I just had. Oh, well, Shawnee, Shawnee was decent, I guess. Shawnee was mid. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okay, so it's only 30 degrees outside, but all of the kids are wearing shorts and a hoodie. So you do too. Will you actually... So say if, because of the weather and you see other people wearing things, will you copy what the other people are wearing? Or just wear whatever nah, you if wear? it's like actually like deadly weather, then I, tra- I choose to wear like... Some, not a hoodie, of course. Yeah. I won't suffer. If it's only 30 degrees, I, I don't really know. It's 30 degrees hot. Hmm? It's 30 degrees hot. Um, 
Uh, let, me, let me just see the hottest day. I'm it's like 40 degrees, isn't it? Yeah, as well. Uh, nah, I want coffee. I just choose what to wear. It was like 40 degrees. So I guess it's kind of hot. Yeah. I won't say it's hoodie weather, though. Because the weather right now is 18. Oh, I'd probably wear like a t-shirt. And right now it's kind of cold, it's a bit cloudy, nothing special. I'm not yeah. just, you know. What'd you say? I'm actually kind of sweaty. Damn. It's it's hot, are you not? Uh, Well, it's kind of hot, but it's not too hot. It, it's manageable hot. Oh, yeah. Because if you have ventilation, well, I don't have ventilation, I just have fans. I, I rely on fans. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I guess I fans in every room. Room. Okay, let's head on to some other ones. Um, so, let's say you're a teacher and you're supervising an exam. Let's say you're a... Um, yes. Hmm. Let, let me think of your name. Terry. Terry, yeah. Bad. I mean, Terry... Uh, <laughs> Terry Dompton. Terry Dompton. You're you're a teacher su- supervising an exam. A student suddenly starts to cough and sneeze very loudly. You go over to see if you can help, but when it continue but when you continue to ask them, they leave what? But to see if you can help, but when it continues, you ask them to leave the room. He, uh, they they end up upset and they argue. <laughs> Who ends up upset? The, the child. child. They yeah. argue with me. Yeah. Personally, I like I, I try to be nice, and I shouldn't argue with me for something that's got nothing to do with me. So I yeah. have to be like, in fact, you can come do your like, exam at break time, and that's also behavior points. And they have they can have a DT after school as well. Um, boom, disruption of assessment for your dirty, dirty, dirty cough that I tried to help you with. Next time, don't distract or disturb, or mess up with my class during an exam just because you can't control yourself in your cough. I tried to be Mr. Nice Guy, but no, 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 no. No, you can't. Yeah. So stand outside. That's a C3. And yeah, <laughs> I'm joking. Yes, Papa. <laughs> I mean, I, w- I would not do that. I'd just be like kind of angry because why are you arguing with me? Like, exactly. I'd be, I'd be kind of annoyed. I wouldn't do all of that. I'd just be kind of annoyed. I'd be like, well, just do your work. And if you actually need help, then go. <laughs> I'll tell them if you speak again, you get two behavior points. Disruption of a session. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and you off again. <laughs> and then that's currently your C1. Yes. That's okay. your C1. Okay. So you're a small child at the beach. You are playing in the sun. Your father bought you has bought you an ice cream in a cone. You begin to lick it very slowly to make it last but it drops in the sand. <gasps> oh. You cry very loudly until your father goes and gets you another ice cream. That's so good. Because if my child did that, I'd be too annoyed. I'm like, I cry, 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 cry and cry well. Yeah, I just let you cry and then I'm not spending more money on you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I might buy an ice cream, but I'll have most of it to myself. You can, you can have the remainings. But... Because I, mean, <laughs> I didn't make your ice cream fall. That's not my issue. <laughs> Exactly, like you just live with it. Like, don't be spoiled. <laughs> exactly, they need to be humbled at a young age. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not buying you another ice cream just because you dropped it. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> maybe, maybe if they were really, really, really young. But I wouldn't spend too much money. But if they were, if they were really young, maybe. Actually, to be honest, maybe not. Because young children, they tend to drop things more, anyways. I mean, if they're my child, then I'm, I'm always going to care more, right? Yeah. Maybe some random kid that I'm babysitting in the hole. <laughs> Darman. I saw something like this on Darman. They no treat way. their actual child better. <laughs> oh, no. Darman's too relatable. You know, Darman should win that. an Oscar. I'm not going to be that bad, okay? But like... <laughs> <laughs> Darman's relatable to every single life experience and scenario. <laughs> what has Darman not done? He's running wow. out of ideas at this point. <laughs> Is he actually? I don't know. I well, don't know. His, his, his videos are getting better. Oh, slime. Yeah, that man's in his um peak era. Slime, Mr. Man. <laughs> Mr. Man. Okay. Um. So 
you're a you're eh, I can't speak. Okay, so this is father, but I'll change it to mother because you are part of the female species. So oh. <laughs> you are a mother at the beach with your small child. She is playing in the sand and you have just brought her an ice cream cone. She is very happy and li- wait no, this is the one I just said. <laughs> Wait, no, this is the same thing. No. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you some real quick ones. Uh, yeah. Amelia is upset because her friends aren't talking to her and she doesn't know why. What would you do if your friends weren't speaking to you? I just, I'll be so confused. Like, I try to talk to them. Like, I don't know, I just leave it. If they look angry, then I just leave it. And then talk to them like later on. Same. Because if you don't want to speak to you, if you don't want to speak to me, it's not that I don't want to speak to you. It's just that how can I speak to you? Because yeah, like, if you want me, if they're mad at me for something like, and they're not ignoring me, like, what do you expect me to do? Exactly. Like, go to your apologize. house and buy you a Lamborghini. So, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. within a friendship, if I'm giving 100% energy and I'm not receiving that back, then that's not good yeah what i'm giving i should be receiving back what you give i will receive back it's 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 50 50 not 100 to none um so susie fell over let's say you're susie and you fell over in the playground and you hurt your knee (gasps) but some other children laughed at her damn what if you got laughed at you hurt your knee i'd be so i don't know what i do like You, you should beat them up how I'm, I'm, I'm injured. <laughs> well, pick pick your scab off and put it in there now. <laughs> My bleeding scab. The bleeding scab. It's OP. Mhm. Yeah. It, it that it made for him sure. I put it in the face. So like, hey, look at <laughs> like, mm, look at this. Look at yeah, this. Look what, you look what you do. Yeah. Yeah. You're the cause of this. Of the cause course, of causation. Yeah. You pushed me. Exactly. Definitely. Now I should take what you made, the consequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lick it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, um, Amelia, which is you again, is mm-hmm. upset because her friend... That's what I just said. Okay. Um, Adam, which is you. You're Adam now. Which is you. No, okay. So, I spent a long time drawing a lovely picture. <laughs> for, so, for Rebecca, for my work. Oh, but someone scribbled all over it and now it's ruined. What do you think I should do? You should get that person back. I should use the crayons I used and stick up their nose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. I'm not joking. But um, I probably just... I, I, I don't know, actually. Someone just I, scribbled I and messed them up. To be honest... I'll probably tell a teacher because a teacher can't put me in trouble for homework someone else messed up. Yeah. But the yeah, like, oh, if I have it's... the paper, I just show it to the teacher, right? True, but it'll be like, you know how people are like, oh, my dog ate my homework. She's like, oh, what a classic. Oh, you can't trick me. <laughs> Ooh, and they think they're like say that. 100 IQ. I feel like that's something they might say. So I'll probably tell them the day before. But if it's already too late to tell them and I just have to deal with it, I probably will not come to that lesson because I did my homework I did nothing yeah I'm, yeah I'm just gonna so stay home of course I'll stay home I'll just camp in pastoral or something I said too okay. whatever I need I'll go talk to Rebecca about it actually no Rebecca's the homework I need to give I'll speak to, no, I'll talk to Rebecca no Kaylin's comforting I'll speak to Kaylin <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to S7 his new own classroom I'll speak to him um okay so let's say Noah which is again me is playing and this is the last um quote not quote okay. last thing quote. the last scenario uh noah is playing with a ball in the playground when an older pupil takes it away from him what do you think i should do i'm noah what what do you think i should do what happened again? What, what did the other people do? Damn. Okay, so Noah is playing with the ball in the playground when an older pupil takes it away from him. Older pupil? Older an pupil older student. Takes the ball. The ball he's playing with. Um, 
<laughs> what, what, would what would you, you do? I don't know. To be honest, I, I should take it and run. I was like, hey, give me my lunch money back, dweeb. <laughs> give me my ball. I'm give me my ball. ball. <laughs> This is probably something that's been in Darman as well. Oh, did they get this from Darman? All these from Darman. Probably. Darman's a smart man. True. We we like Darman. Darman's cool. Um. Be like Darman. I know. eh? Darman's cool. Darman's good, you know. But uh, personally, me, if that happened to me, I would probably buy an older child. Yeah. I'm not not here for that. But um, yeah. What what would you do actually? I would just, I'd be annoyed. Like, I'd be like, hey, just give it back. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna joke with them or anything. Yeah. It was actually not okay then. But if I know them, then I don't know. I play with them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, that is the end of all the scenario questions. But I've got one last oh, question, yeah. which is not okay. a scenario. So, uh, the question is. How dangerous do you think peer pressure is from 1 to 10? Um, if it's like bad, then probably like 7. Okay. I think that's like, it could be like an 8. eight I want to try to give it an, an even, uh, like a full number. Either 8 or 9. I'll say 9. Because... A full number is 8. Well, I'll, I'll give it 9. Oh, okay. Because... You know, it, it could end with people dying and all and stuff like that. Because it, it can go really extreme. Yeah. The reason why I gave it 10 is because people don't always die or people don't always have that happen. Because it can, of course, there'll be something small, but a lot of the time it's something big. Yeah. So that's that. So, Emma, yeah. how'd you feel about all of these questions today? It was actually fun. I know, it was so amazing. It's so yeah. entertaining. At yeah. first, it was a bit shaky, you were a bit scared, but now, you did it in this so, You're going to get so many views because of me. And, <laughs> I'm his famous, guys. Spotify, YouTube, Google, all of this. She's famous. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, but at the end of every single podcast episode I do, I have a quote. They call me Mr. Diamond. And they call mm-hmm. me Mr. Poet Guy. Are you, do you okay. want to hear the quote? A quote? Yes, a quote. <laughs> Are you no, ready? no, no, no. Okay, so you're ready. <clears throat> the quote of season four, oh. episode three, every is right. peer pressure, avoid it at all costs. Eh, I have to repeat that. Peer pressure, avoid it at all costs. It can mess with your mental structure. Get it? Structure, pressure. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> so, l- l- let me repeat it for the ones at the back. The quote of season yeah. four, episode three of Mary Star Podcasts is. Peer pressure, avoid it at all costs. It can mess with your mental structure. I'm so amazed. Yeah. I'm so amazed. Emma, do you agree? Yes. Okay. See, this is why we all appreciate Emma. Emma <laughs> good. So, um, I guess that's the end of this episode. Um, yes. Thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.